ready for the heat. Hopefully you are, because we've got some heading our way over the next few days. Good evening, everyone. It's Eric here with Weather for Weather Geeks on this Tuesday evening. Now, the warm weather over the next couple of days, really kind of just generic summertime heat. Friday's heat will be a little bit different. We'll talk about the numbers here momentarily. In the meantime, if you've uh, been to the beach, of course, in the summertime, you know all about the sea breeze, uh, which typically takes place in the afternoon. Sea breeze uh, comes in off the uh, ocean and blows up some thunderstorms. It's like a little mini cold front. It tends to blow up thunderstorms inland from the beach during the afternoon. So if you've been to Myrtle or any place like that, you know what that's all about. Well, we had kind of the Ohio and Pennsylvania version of that this afternoon with the lake breeze providing a blow up of thunderstorms early this afternoon, even a couple of severe thunderstorm warnings with some uh, hail in areas just east and southeast of Cleveland. These mostly faded away though pretty quickly as we got into the mid and late afternoon hours today. We did have some blow off clouds from those thunderstorms for a time this afternoon. It actually kept a little bit of a lid on our temperatures. Temperatures underachieved a little bit today thanks to the presence of those kind of debris clouds from the storms uh, blowing up off to our north. So we expected about 85 or 86 today, but it stopped at 82 this afternoon. Actually one degree shy of the average. By the way, our average high falls. Uh, it starts falling maybe tomorrow. I'll have to look. It's sometime over the next few days. We begin the process of our average high starting to fall, taking us, uh, of course, from now through early, or I should say mid-January when uh, temperatures bottom out as far as the long-term averages. Speaking of temperatures, once again this evening we're actually one of the more comfortable spots in the country. Look how much real estate is covered by the heat across the mainland U.S., 117 in Phoenix, 102 in Dallas, and you may have uh, seen some of the uh, stories on the national news or we've been covering a little bit here locally about the water temperatures off the coast of Florida. Now, there are parts of the Atlantic Ocean that are just crazy warm right now, but close to the U.S. and specifically South Florida, these water temperatures are amazing. Now, this is just one buoy off the coast of uh, Key West, 88 or so there, but notice if you look carefully, some of these maroons and reds get a little bit darker the closer you get to the peninsula. There are some water temperatures in through here that are in the upper 90s to around 100 degrees. That's the water temperature. Now, this is just remarkable stuff, and it's alarming, and it's, it's, you know, it's posing a risk, of course, to the coral reef uh, population down there uh, off the coast of Florida, and you know, it's just not a good sign for the Earth's climate when we have those kinds of water temperatures anywhere, including so close to the U.S. All right, air temperatures back here at home. We'll be off to the races on our Wednesday. Lower and middle 60s to start, but then already in the mid 80s by midday and heading to about 90 or so in the afternoon. We are expecting a good deal of sunshine. In the meantime, today with the day two outlook from the Storm Prediction Center, uh, they introduced an enhanced risk, level three out of five in the kind of tan color for northern Indiana, parts of Michigan, and northwest Ohio as well. And notice the decrease in the severe weather risk as you head off to the south and east. I'm expecting thunderstorms that get going up here to weaken a lot, or quite a bit I should say, as they head in our direction by tomorrow night. A rowdy thunderstorm is going to be a possibility, but our severe weather risk is quite a bit lower locally as compared to places like Detroit, Toledo, Fort Wayne, etc. So tomorrow afternoon our modeling shows one band maybe moving across the north shore of Lake Erie. Another forming across parts of Michigan. Uh, there may be some tornadoes within this, some damaging winds and hail. This is with a trough of low pressure. It's not a cold front. There's no cold air with this. But it's a pretty potent disturbance that'll come south and east. And again, during tomorrow night and the wee hours of Thursday morning, in a weakened state, we may get grazed by some showers and some thunderstorms, but not expecting a lot of severe weather at all around here. And in the wake of this disturbance, Thursday just turns out to be a sunny and warm day. Uh, maybe not quite as hot as tomorrow, but we're talking a few degrees here. Still plenty warm. Good pool afternoon on Thursday. And this will be the hottest day of the year coming up on Friday, at least the year so far. And I'll tell you, the way that the longer range pattern looks as we head into August, I think uh, in terms of absolutes, this will probably be the hottest day of 2023 overall. I don't see a pattern that will be conducive to us returning to 94 anytime real soon, but 94 is our forecast high for Friday. That would match the hottest temperature we had during last year. As far as the heat index goes, this will also peak on Friday with dew point temperatures in the middle and upper 60s, air temperatures in the lower and middle 90s. That's going to create a heat index near 100. 100 is kind of the magic number in our part of the country for the National Weather Service to issue heat advisories. The criteria locally in eastern Ohio and western PA is generally speaking about 100 
for more than an hour. Say we expect a few hours with heat in index values above 100. That'll trigger a heat in uh, or a heat advisory, I should say, uh, for our area. So uh, that may or may not happen. But either way, it doesn't matter whether you're under an advisory or not. If you have a job where you got to work outside, uh, just be ready to treat it uh, seriously. Take more breaks than you're used to uh, taking. Take uh, more hydration with you than you're used to uh, taking with you and consuming. So that's going to be the drill if you uh, need to be exerting yourself outdoors during the hottest part of the day on Friday. Otherwise, all the common sense stuff applies. You don't need me to, to lecture you uh, too much about that, certainly. Um, all the common sense stuff applies. Check on the elderly. Make sure the uh, the susceptible populations, the elderly and the young, are taken care of. They have air conditioning. Uh, they're comfortable and not suffering in this kind of heat. And, of course, the pets as well. All right, we have a big, big crowd coming into downtown Youngstown on Saturday. 20,000-plus expected in Ween Park for Y Live, Kid Rock, and uh, the Sport X. And uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to be, for early revelers and tailgaters and partiers, we're going to be under the gun for some showers and storms. I, I'm only going to rain all afternoon, but showers and storms will at least threaten for a lot of the afternoon. But as we head towards evening, today's modeling would suggest that we try to dry things out as we head towards sunset and kind of the main show uh, around 9, 10 o'clock Saturday evening. Hopefully this general trend will continue and the modeling doesn't really slow down with the... With the uh, uh, highest odds of showers and storms. But I do think it'll be a pretty unsettled afternoon, but at this point, reasonably optimistic that we'll try to, to see improving weather by the evening. Those dew points might even try to come down by the evening. Now, Saturday is not going to be as hot as Friday, but it's still going to be very muggy on Saturday, at least through the afternoon. If this cold front manages to speed up a little bit, we might have more refreshing air pushing in as early as mid-evening on Saturday, and certainly it will be a more refreshing day coming up on Sunday, beautiful Sunday coming up, and it looks like it'll stay pretty nice into early next week. That'll do it for me on Weather for Weather Geeks this evening. Thank you as always for tuning in. Make sure you're following me on all the socials, including threads. If you uh, are not on threads yet, if you have an Instagram account, you can uh, automatically join threads. It's kind of uh, uh, the new Twitter, if you will. Um, Twitter's going through quite a lot these days, and uh, my suspicion is most people will, uh, Twitter will be in the kind of the, the dustbin of history within a fairly short amount of time if, if it goes the way it has been going. It's now called X, by the way, for some reason. Uh, but anyway, hopefully you're following me on all the socials and we'll keep you up to date on there whenever interesting weather strikes. And we always post links to this video on all the social media outlets as well.